Hey folks, Dad here with Elevation Diecast Racing, and this is going to be pick your pack number seven. I was going to have a rally tournament next, but I was looking through the cars and I don't have all the rally cars I'd like to see uh, to represent a rally race. So what we're going to do is have racing in the past lane number five. And first up is going to be this metal-based Mustang convertible, 65 convertible from the year 2000. 65 Mustang. I don't know what that is. Looks like a classic rock, whatever. Must be from some kind of rock and roll series or something. But it is metal base, metal body. Should be a good roller if you like this one. Mustang Convertible will be your pick. Next up, coming to you from the 2017 series Hot Wheel Flames, it's the 67 Shelby GT500. I like these cars because they do have the wide wheelbase, and a, these, these cars tend to be fast and can show some speed, so we're going to find out. These will all be dusted up before they hit the track. I want some speed. So if you like this one, 67 Shelby GT500, a beer pick. Up next from the 2006 Redline Series, the 69 Pontiac Firebird plastic base metal body. He does seem pretty weighty. I'm going to guess the 41 to 50 weight class. Pretty sharp ride. If you like this one, I think it can take the overall win. The Pontiac Firebird will be your pick. Going back to 1988 with this blown Camaro Z28 from the Speed Fleet series. Metal base, metal body, gold, Hot Ones wheels. Hoping I've got a bunch of these and some of them are fast and some of them are not. So we're going to hope we get some speed out of this one. If you like this one, the blown Camaro Z28 will be your pick. Up next from 2005 is going to be the Ford Anglia and I'm not sure what year this car is but I'm going to run them in this race because I've never I never ran one of these and it looks old it looks like a classic so we're going to run them in the pass lane if you think this one has what it takes Ford Anglia will be your pick and you know what you love it one of the Ultra Hots from this year's first run, the Buick GNX, 2021 copyright. I'm still looking for an elite one of these, so we're just going to keep racing them until we find it. Uh, if you like this one, the 87 Buick Regal GNX could be the winner, and that would be your pick. All right, our friends over at Chase Family Racing picked some vehicles up for me in a lot and were kind enough to uh, pick those up and one of these were in that lot so I pulled this one off the wall I've been wanting to race him for a long time so we're going to roll the 68 olds 442 spectra frost metal base metal body Hoping this one's a winner, winner, chicken dinner, so to speak. Got a copyright date of 2013. If you like this one, this 68 Olds 442 will be your pick. You'll be taking on from the 2015 Red Edition Target Special Series 68 Chevy Nova. Uh, I don't know anybody that has a fast Nova that wasn't built. I have seen fast built Novas. And uh, you guys do a real good job um, building these. Uh, I'm going to build a Fast Nova, uh, I anticipate, soon. Uh, because this is one of the cars and castings I wish were fast. This one could be. You never know. That's why we're going to open them up. If you like this one, the 68 Chevy Nova Red Edition will be your pick. Next up, I have a whole slew of 40s woodies. Don't know anyone with a fast one. I'm no exception. I don't have any fast ones, but I have a whole bunch that we're going to run and see if they 
we can find a fast one. Metal body, metal base. We'll see. If you like this one, the 40s Woody could be your pick. He'll be taking on from the 2013 Fast and Furious Hot Wheel Workshop. It's the 70 Ford Escort RS 1600. We just seen a giant disappointment in a Ford Escort uh, from the new 2023. So I'm thinking this one's going to roll a little different. I'm hoping anyway, nice little wide wheelbase there. If you like this one, the 70 Ford Escort will be your pick. Next up from 2007, copyright for Team Volkswagen. It's the Beetle. Pretty sharp. Look at the back there. Born in 66 from Wolfsburg, Germany. Big rear tires, classic curves. Well-known Volkswagen was made to beat the competition. We'll see about that on Friday. If you like this one, Volkswagen Beetle will be your pick. He's got some tough competition, though, from the 1998 1970 Chevelle SS. I have one of these in the ranks. I don't remember exactly where he's ranked, but he has lost his edge. So I have a new one. And we're going to roll him. And I anticipate rolling this one down the track if you think this one has what it takes for the overall win 70 chevelle ss will be your pick next up from 1995 it is these 70s cool styling corvette stingray metal base metal body three spoke wheels very cool Corvette casting here. If you think this one has what it takes. The 95 Corvette Stingray will be your pick. Because he's taken on from 1981. Gold Hot Ones Corvette Stingray. We all love this car. We all have one or two or ten. <laughs> uh, I'm a big fan of these cars, and we're going to see if we got a winner here. And um, perhaps fast enough to get in the top tier. We'll see. Lots of good rollers in this race. But if you think this one has what it takes, the Hot Ones Corvette Stingray will be your pick. And in the eighth race, rounding out our 16-car lineup, this is going to be the Keys to Speed 70 Chevelle. So not to be confused with the Blue Chevelle. So this, you can call it the Red Chevelle, the Keys to Speed Chevelle, whatever you want. But I dig this car. I've been waiting to open it up. Kind of cool. Looks like I got a new key ring. So... But if you think this one's going to be fast from the Nightburner series in 2010, the Keys to Speed Chevelle would be your pick. And from 1996, from the Quicksilver series, it is the Hurricane colorway of the Chevy Stalker. It does have a metal base, plastic body. Hurricanes are known to be fast, and they're also known to be Dudley Doolittles. But if you think this one might have what it takes to beat out the rest of the lineup, they are fast on the track. The Hurricane Chevy Stalker will be your pick. So there you have it. There is the lineup in the order in which they will run. We will get these over to the speed shop and down Graphite Alley. And get that graphite worked in Friday night. Good luck on your picks. Should be an exciting race. And at the end of this race, it will be qualifying pack number seven is what we'll be rolling. And we might do we might do this during the week. I don't know. And make a qualifying pack eight. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But this is next up for the five pack challenge number two. So we'll see you then, and I'm sure we'll see you in between now and then. Have a good night, folks.